Right, so uh, how to get the water out of your car once you've fixed your water leak and why would you bother? Okay, so it might sound a bit silly because you think, well, there's not a lot of water in my car and, you know, so it will dry on its own. This lady's bought the car in, we found and fixed the water leak under there. We've, we've got to fix it yet, but we've found where it is. It's under the bulk behind the pedals there. Uh, we've taken the seat out because we're going to dry it and we're going to dry it properly and the reason we've taken the seat out is so we can get the carpet out. We get this trim off here and then get the carpet up. Um, right, so it was a bit wet on the back here and that's what made her first suspect that it was leaking and she thought, oh well, you know, that might be a little bit of water in there and the front there was completely dry. So uh, you'd be right to think the water might be getting in from the back, but not the case. But anyway, let's have a look lift this up now the this has got this uh, felt stuff it's not the normal most cars have the foam and foam can hold the water and it can be a bit more difficult to get the water out but it does come out you have to get a suction machine on there and then suck it out and the water at the moment you can see it dripping off but that's because it's finding the lowest level so we because it's only wet on one side we're going to strap the um, carpet up and then will suck the water off of it. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but there's there's probably at least a gallon at the back there. And the water's found its way from the front and gone to the lowest point under the carpet. So you'd be, you know, interesting to see there that there is still a bit of water in the front, but um, most of the water's found its way from the back. Now, that could be because sometimes people do have uh, the car parked with the front up, so, or the back up and it can go the other way. So you know don't assume because the water's at the back uh, that the leak is coming from the back anyway so we're going to get a suction machine so if you're doing this at home um, this is how to do it get the seat out and um, don't recommend if it's a passenger side that you turn the ignition on because um, most of the time you can take these things out and unplug the bottom of the seat and the car doesn't know the seat's out so you don't have to go and get the airbag reprogrammed right okay James James is going to get the suction machine and pull out the water first, the bulk of the water, which is fairly easy to do. You've got to have a wet back for this. We've got a commercial one, which has got two engines in it, which pulls it out. Then he's going to pull it out from the foam, uh, or from the uh, felt, or foam in your case, depends on what car, but he's got to pull it out of the felt as best we can. And then in our instance, we've got a three phase blowing machine, so we're going to put the blower in there. And, uh, and suck it out. So, so why would you do it? Why would you bother? I mean, you know, just leave it to dry, pull it to dry. Well, the answer is the car's a tin box and it won't dry. So several things can um, affect you if the car's wet. Firstly, uh, it's a nuisance for the window steaming up all the time, uh, which is the easiest part of the problem. Secondly, of course, if you leave it in the sun or in the heat, then it will, of course, um, it will stink and uh, it can really, really smell. So, you know, obviously, and the other thing is, of course, you can get mold. And if you leave the car parked with water in it for some time, then you get mold in there and then it can be very unhealthy. Um, there's another reason is that uh, you can often create cor corrosion and the floor pan of the car can corrode as well as uh, we've had in many instances, the, the seat um, bolts that go through the seat that hold it in the thread, they all corrode. And, you can't even get the seat out sometimes. So, you know, it smells, it's just a nightmare, as well as, on top of that, some cars can have electronic boxes in the footwell, so you can get them wet. That could be controlling your airbags, or it's just moisture in the car can cause electronic problems going forward. So it is a nuisance, and it can be, you know, it can seriously affect your car. You could have something that's safety related that's affected by the water. So, um, yeah, so if you can't put a blower in there, get your fan heater in, and that's how we used to do it. Plug a fan heater in and uh, put it in the right place in the car, and you know, just you have to be careful what you're doing. You can't overcook it. Um, this is safe because this blower is just blowing, it's an eight inch pipe blowing hot air. So, it, it, you know, and it, the machine itself is not in the car. So, uh, if, you ha if you want us to do it for you and say you found and fixed your water leak, then by all means, yeah, we can do it and, um, you know, we can get the carpet up and dry it so that you're all clean and ready to go. So um, have a look on our website and you've got our details on there. It's new again and uh, we're here based in Chelmsford. So 
you know, otherwise, um, sometimes it does make sense to take the carpet out completely. If it was wet both sides, then, you know, it does sometimes make sense to get the thing hung up on the fence in the sunshine and they can dry. But I, I would suggest you use a decontamination product as well and clean it and make sure there's no mould in the car. The decontamination products that we use are um, commercial ones. Uh, but there is one that you know that you can buy um, from the shops. We just need to make sure it hasn't got the um, bleach in it. Okay, so obviously bleach isn't great, and that's the building ones that's often have got the bleach in. So there you go. So we'll leave that drying now for maybe five to seven, maybe eight hours with that blower going. And when it's completely dry, um, we may have to just suck a little bit more water out of the low points where the uh, where the felt is. And when it's completely dry, then we'll put a decontamination product on the footwell area and then put the seat back in and, uh, and then it's all good to go.